Behold, I come to do your will, O God. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and of the Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our weekday live streaming of the Mass from the Catholic Diocese of Cleveland. My name is Father Dan Schlegel. I'm the Vicar for Clergy and Religious for the Diocese, and so glad that you are here to celebrate with us this special day, this feast day, the Annunciation, that event when the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and asked her to be the mother of our, her son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. At the beginning of our liturgy, let us call to mind our sinfulness, the times that we have failed to heed God's call in our own lives as we pray for the forgiveness and mercy of God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, Grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be both God and man may merit to become partakers, even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. 
Is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me, holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here, Here I, I am, Lord, Lord I, come I come to do your Lord. will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here, Here I, I am, Lord, Lord. I, I come, come to do your, your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, knew. No, Here I, I am, Lord, Lord. I, come I come to do your Lord. will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord. I come, I come to, to do your, your will. A, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will... We have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus, and he will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. 
Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, they say that it's best to teach a young person how to swim at a very early age, before fears or anxiousness can set in. It's fascinating if you've ever seen an adult teaching their child to swim as a little baby. The parent holds the child up to the water and allows that water to be used to to, uh, comfort the child so that the child gets used to the water being on her back and comfortable with all the water around her. The baby has a basic trust in the one who is holding her up. Otherwise, she'll begin to fight the water and sink. Eventually, through the calming words of a mother or a father, through gentle hands, through beginning to trust the water, a parent lets go, and the water keeps the baby afloat. If you allow the water to support you, if you don't fight it, if you embrace it, If you welcome it as your friend, it will never cease to hold you up. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation. We celebrate Mary's willingness to be supported and held up by the power of the Holy Spirit in her life. We celebrate Mary's yes to God and the fact that she was the first disciple to follow Jesus, the first to respond to God's will, to proclaim his word to all the world. All of us who have grown very comfortable with Mary's yes should relook at the situation that she found herself in, the environment in which she had to say that yes, because she, more than anyone, had great reason to be fearful of what lay ahead. She was unmarried and pregnant. She was so young. What would people think? She was betrothed to Joseph. So how would she explain an unexpected pregnancy to him? Would it mean the breakup of their relationship? What kinds of responsibilities and obligations did this mean she was undertaking for the future? What kind of long-term commitment was she making to motherhood? and a discipleship. I would venture to say to you that Mary could only say yes to God because she knew she was being supported, held, encouraged by a power so much greater than herself. It was Mary's faith in the power of God and in the gift of the Holy Spirit that allowed her to say yes to an unknown future and take on a direction very different than the one she originally intended. So too it is with our lives, especially in times of uncertainty. God leads us and guides us in ways perhaps unknown to us. A worldwide pandemic like this is a good example that we have an unknown future. The news about the coronavirus brings uncertainty and panic and fear and concern. Some people have lost their jobs and don't know what the economy has in store for them in the future. Death and fear create, and the fear of death create concern for ourselves and our loved ones. We, after all, are social beings and social distancing isn't a part of our DNA. And so it all seems so unnatural. But my brothers and sisters, in the midst of all this anxiety, in the midst of an unknown future and more, the Spirit of God is with us. And like that parent who holds the infant in the water, the Holy Spirit holds us, supports us, helps us to float above our fearfulness. Ask anyone who's accomplished something that they didn't think was possible how they did it, and most likely they would say that they had to put aside their fear, their anxiety. They had to trust that deep within they had what it takes to achieve it. In Mary's example, we find what it takes to achieve greatness. 
but it's not a greatness that we normally think of, of accomplishment or wealth or power, but a greatness in faithfulness, abilities and powers that we have to do beyond what we think is possible with the help of the Holy Spirit, to trust that that Spirit undergirds everything we face in our life. Mary's example, may Mary's example help us to recognize that the Spirit is with us, supporting us, affirming us, upholding us, surrounding us, and keeping us very much afloat. With confidence now, we place our needs into the hands of a good and loving and faithful God. We pray for the church throughout the world. We pray for the health of our Holy Father. We pray for all those who lead and guide others through these difficult days, that they may trust in the Holy Spirit to guide, to lead, to direct, to uphold, and to affirm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our civil leaders throughout the world who try to instill peace and calm in a worried world, in worried constituents, that they may help to bring calm, to bring peace to our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, especially during this time, those who live alone and may feel isolated and afraid and worried and concerned, that the Holy Spirit may help to bring them comfort peace and a sense of connection to the lives of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us in faith, remembering especially in our prayers today, Marian Nawalski and all of our departed brothers and sisters, that they may one day share in the glory of the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for one another. We pray for all the needs, the concerns, the worries of our hearts, that they may be presented to God, and that God in return may send us the gift of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, on this feast of the Annunciation, we praise you and thank you for your presence ever with us. Be with us, we pray. Help us to do your will, and help us to trust in your faithful love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be found pleasing and acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb. 
that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with all the clergy and religious, and your faithful people everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, together now we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of all the world. How blessed we are to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Master, the purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. Behold, I come to, to do your will, O God. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that, that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, May we, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching today. Join us every weekday at 9.30 a.m. for the holy celebration of the Mass. Please let your friends and family members and others know of this broadcast during our current health care crisis. And may you also know our prayers and support and love for you as well. May we continue to demonstrate the love of God and of our neighbor. In addition, may we remember to pray for everyone involved that we may together weather this storm. Have a good day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God be always with you. May God bless your love as you turn to God in your struggles. May you find strength from above. May your lives reflect God's love to others like a light upon a hill. May your homes and your families know happiness and the joy of God's love fulfilled. May your homes and your families know happiness and the joy of God's love fulfilled. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go now in peace, proclaiming the gospel by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.